On the night of January 24th to 25th, 2025, Russia launched a combined missile and drone attack against Ukraine. Over 60 aerial weapons targeted multiple regions, including the capital. Among them was a KH-59 cruise missile launched by a Russian Su-57 stealth fighter towards southern Ukraine's Pivdeny seaport, a critical hub for grain exports and a frequent target of Russian strikes. But this time, something unprecedented happened. Ukraine's naval forces intercepted the missile, not with F-16s, not with machine guns, but with a ship-mounted surface-to-air missile system. So why is it a big deal? According to Ukraine's Navy, the KH-59 missile was intercepted mid-air by a missile launched from a Ukrainian patrol boat. Though Ukraine's military has not officially disclosed the exact weapon system used, an open-source intelligence analyst quickly identified it as the L3 Harris VAMPIRE system, firing 70mm APKWS laser-guided missiles. The Vampire system, originally designed for ground vehicles, may have been adapted for naval use enabling Ukraine to deploy mobile air defense at sea. Adapting the system for other platforms had been speculated for some time, but if confirmed, it means Ukraine has done so successfully. The VAMPIRE system, short for Vehicle Agnostic Modular Palletized ISR Rocket Equipment, is a lightweight modular missile launcher designed for quick installation, can be mounted on almost any vehicle with a cargo bed, including civilian pickup trucks. Installation is said to be user-friendly, allowing a two-man team to fit it in around two hours using standard tools. Uses 70mm APKWS missiles. These are guided by the Westcam MX-10 combined thermal imaging sensor and laser designator. Equipped with a proximity fuse, it disables the target by detonating near it. Low-cost solution. The APKWS missiles are basically Hydra 70 unguided missiles equipped with a laser guidance kit, contributing to their low cost. Manufactured by U.S. defense contractor L3 Harris, the U.S. Department of Defense contracted the company to deliver 14 Vampire systems to Ukraine back in 2023. The system was initially created for ground vehicles, but discussions in early 2024 explored the possibility of integrating it into naval platforms, including Ukraine's unmanned surface vessels, USVs, like the Magura Vi-5 or Sea Baby drones. This interception suggests that Ukraine has successfully adapted at least one patrol boat, possibly a small armored artillery boat, SAB, as a mobile anti-missile platform. Some military analysts argue that this interception was not a game-changer, but rather luck working in Ukraine's favor. The KH-59 cruise missile relies on low-altitude flight, just 7 meters, 23 feet, above water, during nighttime or low-visibility conditions to avoid detection. It uses inertial navigation and an electro-optical seeker for terminal guidance. Its low altitude likely contributed to its successful interception using the VAMPIRE system. That said, this success might still serve as a proof of concept for Ukraine, especially in its drone development efforts. While the patrol boat used in the latest incident was manned, there have been cases in which Ukraine successfully downed Russian aircraft using naval drones, albeit not with the Vampire system. In December 2024, Ukraine's military intelligence, commonly known as HER, said its Magura 5 naval drone downed a Russian Mi-8 helicopter off the coast of Crimea using R-73 Sea Dragon missiles, a Soviet-era air-to-air -air missile modified by Ukraine for maritime use. It also fired at another Mi-8, forcing it to flee. Reports suggest that HER had been experimenting with drone-based R-73 missiles as early as the summer of 2024. Considering the modularity and mobility of the Vampire system, it would be logical for Ukraine to try and integrate it with unmanned systems. If that happens, that might be the game-changer for Ukraine considering the country's minuscule navy after Russia's 2014 invasion. Intercepting aerial threats has always been the bane of Ukrainian defenses, especially in the face of overwhelming Russian drone and missile attacks. However, the successful use of seaborne Vampire systems could be a proof of concept to help Ukraine close the gaps in air defenses in the future. Between the expensive Patriot missiles and mobile fire groups equipped with M2 Brownings, 
Patrol boats firing low-cost APKWS missiles could give Ukraine more options to defeat the Russian drones and missiles that continue to terrorize its population in southern Ukraine. Whether it's a game-changer is too early to say, but it is definitely a step forward for Ukrainian defenses.